Utilising Dropbox for your YouTube uploads. It's got multiple reasons that this is quite good. Um, first one being that you can have other people upload to your Dropbox for you. Uh, so for example, if you've got somebody did some editing on one of your videos, they can then upload it into your Dropbox and then you can upload it to YouTube. Uh, the advantage of that, obviously you can screen it, check it before it goes live. The other one being that if it's on your phone, it's constantly uploading. You can set Dropbox to receive your files as and when you make them. So you can either upload on data, you upload whenever it gets Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi being a good uh, way of pushing data when you're out and about so that it'll basically upload everything um, <coughs> along with the fact that it's a good backup system. So once it's all up in Dropbox, because you obviously know what Dropbox is anyway, how do you get it into YouTube? There's a very simple program that does it and it literally just takes seconds to do it. Once it's up into Dropbox, the process of uploading it doesn't take long at all. So here we are at Box Connect. As you can see, it's boxconnect.org up here in the top left. And what you have is you connect to your Dropbox. Boxconnect.org, by the way, is free. Um, so you connect to your Dropbox. It'll ask you for your password and stuff, the normal login. And once it's got that information, it will now go and pull all the data of what files you have in your Dropbox. Here we go here, I'll just take this first video, which is my son, just click on that as an example. We'll decide to upload that one. And then it asks, where do you want it? Do you want it YouTube? Do you want it in your Google Drive? DeviantArt, Vimeo, I may have pronounced that wrong, or Facebook. And we want to actually put it into YouTube. And what account do I need? I'm going to use my main account, so we'll click on that one. Am I allowing access to this? Yes, the answer is. And it will now set itself up to transfer the file from Dropbox onto YouTube. A couple of things. It won't have filled in any information relating to the actual video itself, the descriptions or whatever. Um, it doesn't even take the titles. It'll have a number. Um, there may be ways to uh, alter that, but at the moment it, it basically just gets the file up there for you and you have to do the editing in YouTube for the description, the title, etc. Here it says there's 1.38 gig ahead of me in data, but that may sound a lot on your computer at home, but on the internet it's nothing. But anyway, so there you go, it's already finished. So you can see it is now uploaded it. So if I go to YouTube, <coughs> the video we just transferred, I go to my channel. Uh, video manager. And the video is now there. See, Box Connect. Uh, let's have a quick look at that. If we do an edit on it, just so you can see that it doesn't put any information. The important bit here is it hasn't, it's kept it private, it's not monetized. Um, so be cautious of that. Not that it makes any real damage because even if you uploaded copyright material, it's not monetized anyway. But anyway, so there's, there's my son's little video. Um, the name would need changing, description need changed, tag need adding, but that's pretty much it. It doesn't get any easier than that. It's quick, it's fast, it's easy. Perfect. Thanks for watching.